So when we want to find the variance, though, again, what we're simply going to do is take all of our data set. Here's the equation for the variance, where x with the line over it meet, represents the mean and represents the number of terms in your data set. I listed them all up. We need to go ahead and find the mean. So we're going to add up all the terms and divide it by how many terms we have, which in this case is 10. So I added them all up in my calculator. And now I'm just going to um, get that. And I get 10,040. Divide that by 10. And I get 1,004. My black mark. So 1004 is my mean. Now that is for every term in or every term in this column. Okay? Now the next thing is we're going to be subtracting this. Do you know did you have this answer? OK. Um, so now we're just going to do the subtraction of our, um, of our x minus our mean, which in this case would be 104. Correct? Negative, yes. Negative 104. Um, this one would be 296. This value is going to be 196. This next one is going to be 154. Negative 154. This one would be negative 204. Um, this one is going to be 251. This value is going to be 5, 9, so it's going to be 209. I don't know. Which was this one? Yeah, where'd the 1 come from? Um, 246. Yes. 46. Yes, that works. Thank you. Uh, this one would be negative. Oh, my mind's already starting to hurt me. <sighs> my brain hurts. So I'm just going to resort to my calculator. 795. 209. So I had that right. Negative 54. Um, this one's obviously going to be 16. And then 975 minus 1004 is negative 29. Does everybody find, see how I found the difference? OK. Now, what's usually like, nice with this is now we're just going to take our number. And it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive, guys, but you're just going to find the square of each of these numbers. So this is 10,816. So then I do 296 squared. And I get 616. I do 196 squared, 38, 416, 154 squared, 23760, 204 squared, 41, 616, uh, 246 squared, 60, 516. 209 squared, 43, 681, 54 squared, 29, 16, 16 squared, 16 squared, 246, 256. Dang it. And 20 Nueva squared, 841. Okay. So what we have basically done is figured out this form. Okay? But what we need to now do, Brianna, is what they're looking for is actually identifying the summation of that. So uppercase sigma tells us to find the sum of all of these values. So to find my variance here, I need to find the sum of all those values. So now I'm going to literally just go down the column, Juno, and I'm going to add every single term inside of there. So I'm going to do one. 10,816, I know it's a lot, plus um, 
23,716. So you gotta be careful because you can make a mistake here very, very easily. And I get 310,391. Yeah, 390. Oh, I said 91. I don't know why I said that. So now when I go ahead and um, divide by 10, I get my variance is 31,039. Is that what you got, Juno? So my recommendation is if you didn't get the correct answer, make sure you guys go back through this table. Okay? Now that is what that's the definition of variance. And that's all you guys have to do for variance. Wait, what is variance? Variance is again is another measurement, is just another way for us to measure the distance away from the mean. Yes? Is this part of the standard it's deviation. Right. Like yep. No, I'm just kind of going over it, the variance for the people that were not here. Right. So this is the variance. If we ask you, what is the variance? Um, however, what we're most commonly also going to be doing is finding the standard deviation. So the standard deviation is equal to the square root of the summation of x minus x uh, mean over n. So basically, the difference between the variance and the standard deviation is it's just the variance equation, but you take the square root on both sides. Okay. So now, all I need to do then to find my standard deviation is I just need to take the square root of my um, variance. So I just do square root of I'm getting 557. Yep, I don't know what I what why that didn't show up. That's weird. Yeah, 176. Sorry? Not really. Uh, does everybody see that? So our standard deviation, if we were going to do a standard deviation, a normal distribution curve, one standard deviation from our mean, from our mean, which is you know 1,004, we would add 176.18 and subtract 176.8 to get our first um, standard deviation. And then we do that again for the second standard deviation and do that again for the third standard deviation. Yes? You're just going to do the exact same thing. For time purposes, I'm going to leave that off. But you do the exact same thing. Yeah. For the second part? Well, that's why I only give you.